Hi, I'm Marnie Homer and I am a Master NLP Coach and a Timeline Therapist. I'm here to help you remove your negative emotions and your limiting beliefs. So your negative emotions like uh, anger, sadness, fear, hurt and guilt and limiting beliefs that stop you in life from achieving the exact goals that you want to achieve in life like the I'm not good enough, the I'm not worthies and the I can't get what I want. So I'll be on the Prosperity Show very shortly giving you heaps of information and sharing heaps of stuff with you and I've gone over. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought to you the NLP practitioner herself, Money. Money, how are you doing there, my love? I am doing freaking awesomely. How are you doing tonight? Fantastic. Well, I'm really excited. I don't know if you can tell. If I could smile any wider, my face would actually pop out of my mouth right now. Because NLP is one of my favorite things um, in life. Uh, for those that are watching right now, NLP happens to be neuro linguistic programming. It's the kind of stuff that helps you overcome your fears. It actually helps you um, increase your confidence and, um, you know, achieve greater success in and around your relationships, your life, your business, and everything else that comes along with it. And people like money are just there to hold you, um, you know, and uh, hold your hand and show you how you too can overcome all these fears and actually live a life that is full. And if you're running a business so that you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, money, obviously I'm not an NLP expert. You would probably know a whole lot better. But before we dive into what it actually does, tell us a little bit about your story, how you got started and why this particular field of study is important to you. Okay, well, well, I actually got started in NLP quite a few years ago. I'm a major, major Tony Robbins fan. And my first experience with NLP was I, I had this goal to actually meet the man. And I managed to pull that off in 2014. I smashed through on my barriers and I actually got my photo taken with him and got a great big, huge, massive hug from the man himself. Wow. Nearly squashed me to death, but I survived. I only just. <laughs> And so that was my first experience with NLP. I had somebody do an anchor on me because my biggest fear was that I was going to burst into tears the minute I saw the man, you know. I mean, I wanted this for so long. And the last thing I wanted to do was end up being a blubbering mess in front of someone so amazing, do you know what I mean? So it was like, so I had someone do an anchor on me. And then I had um, a friend of mine who also did NLP and I had a phobia around trying new foods. And of course, that meant my diet was really, really poor. And within a couple of hours of work, this guy managed to completely eliminate the fear and the phobia that was around trying new foods. And I no longer have an issue with that. I eat salads, I'm eating healthy, and it's really increased my health. And so from that, I got curious, you know, I mean, like this stuff, like there's something about this stuff. And I started looking into it. And then about 12 months ago, I met a guy by the name of Luke Hawkins, who does NLP training um, courses in Sydney. And he is the most phenomenal man I have ever met in my life. The man has my heart. He really does. And so I got involved in his courses and I did the prep course. And I came out a completely different person. Like my mind has never in my life been that clear. Clear of the negative emotions of anger, sadness, hurt, fear and guilt. And clear of like, you know, limiting decisions, you know, things that were actually stopping me from, you know, achieving everything I've ever desired in my life. And so just recently I finished my master practitioner, which gave me a whole, whole new level of, of knowledge. So I'm now actually a master practitioner of NLP and of timeline therapy. And so now I get to go out and I get to change people's lives every day. So. Wow. That is absolutely beautiful to hear. And the fact that you went on and met your idol who happens to be uh, Tony Robbins in person, which means you would have done a lot of work behind the scenes in order for you to reach that goal, which a lot of people have goals in their lives, but it's very hard for them to actually, um, you know, reach them and have a good life. And um, depending on how people define it, a good life really consists of getting, you know, out of bed every morning, excited to take on whatever each day has yeah. in store for you. How yes. then is it really important that you've become this person um, that you've become? At what cost um, did this, you know, you know, sort of come? Was it easy or did you just wake up and, and this was you? 
I, I have a history. I think we all have histories. Um, and yeah, I went through a really tough time in my early 20s. Um, everything I knew to be real in life, everything that I believed to be true got totally flipped upside down in, in the space of 12 months. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but basically I lost everyone that ever meant anything to me in this world, ever. Um, and I found myself at 24 totally alone, um, no family, no friends, um, no one I could rely on. And um, I ended up getting enough strength and enough, had enough resilience inside me that I actually moved countries all by myself. And you know, people tell me how strong I was and how brave I was to do that, which I was. However, I didn't feel like I had a lot of choice. And so I guess that was where I started. That's where I started on the journey of self-development and personal development. And it was a very, very slow, slow, long road. Um, and really only four years ago when I really made that decision that yes, I was going to go and meet Tony Robbins and I was going to make that happen no matter what, did the journey start speeding up for me. And in the last 12 months since I did the NLP, it's just gone 10 times. It's just gone boom. So yeah, it wasn't easy. Um, do I regret it? Do I, do I, do I look at it now and think, um, you know, I wish it didn't happen? Hell no. Because quite frankly, I would not be who I am today now if I hadn't gone through all of those experiences previous. So, you know, I am so, so grateful today for everything that I have gone through in my life and for every experience because I know now that every experience I have had has been bringing me to this moment right here today. Absolutely. That is such a beautiful uh, sentiment to have because in life, uh, Mani, we're here to live, we're here to learn and we're here to contribute. And obviously in the part that you've lived, you can't really choose what happens to you, but you can decide what you do about the things that happen to yourself. And with the Absolutely. way, yes, with the way that, you know, life was um, throwing a lot of curveballs in front of you, um, somebody else would have given up, but you did not. You soldiered through and in the process, you happened to learn a lot of um, things that you are now contributing in the, in, the, in the process of you helping other people be, do, and have. So you know, on, on behalf of all of humanity, I really do um, <laughs> thank you and acknowledge your, um, you know, your, your tenacity in bringing yourself out there. Now, there's a lot of learning that comes along with having the mindset that you now possess uh, being in front of the people that you wanted to put yourself in. Um, and as have, uh, you know, great men of the past, you know, the day you s have said that the day you stop learning is the day that you actually do die. So every single day is a chance for us to learn something new about the life that you wish to attain or the person you wish to become. How yes. important really is um, learning either from a course or from a, a, a book or from a mentor? Um, is it really because you have mentioned two mentors in, a, in, in, in one yes. breath that you've learned from? How important really is it to seek out people that you can learn from? I think it's really important. I mean, I, I actually um, do most, I study most nights. I'm reading or I'm learning or I'm growing in some way, whether it's audio or it's reading a book. I'm always learning these days. The growth that you can have and what you can learn from this is just phenomenal. And as you say, if you're not learning, you're actually, you know, heading towards the, like the old deathbed. So Honestly, I mean, if you want a different life, if you want to do something differently with yourself, if you want to change your situation, then you've got to do something, okay? You can't just sit there and you can't just read a book like The Secret and go, oh, you know, I'm going to sit here now and manifest everything and everything's going to happen for me just as I want it. You've got to take action and that is the number one thing. And you have to go and you have to surround yourself with people that are going to lift you higher. Okay, so if that is mentors, if that is through reading books or that is through doing anything like that, then this is what you have to do. And the biggest thing I can say is you just have to start, okay? Pick up a book, do an audio, do whatever it takes, but you've just got to start and you've just got to take action. So really, really important. Absolutely. And um, just taking you back a little bit, you did mention that um, at some point in your life, sorry to bring this back again, you... That's okay 
lost out on a lot of relationships um, yeah. of all the people that you would have known and all the people that meant anything dearly to you. I mean, obviously, we would acknowledge that a happy and fulfilling life is one that is shared with people that you actually enjoy being around the most. Yeah. And um, if you do have those people, you, you, you ought to sh cherish, um, you know, the relationships and create, you know, with your friends, kids, mm -hmm. Or those that are around and treat people as much as, as, as you know, you want to treat people as much as you want to be treated yourself. Now, how really important, I mean, coming from the rock bottom place you, you are, how really important is it uh, right now to the listener who is taking the people around them for granted to actually really foster and nurture their own relationships? Uh, it's it's really important, you know. I mean, the catalyst of that event was my father dying very suddenly. Um, he just had a heart attack and he was just gone instantly. So there was no warning and there was no chance to do the goodbyes or say anything that I wanted to say. Now, that was the catalyst of what happened. And you realise at that moment, you realise just how important relationships actually are and how important it is to tell those people, tell them, those people that you love exactly that, that you do love them. And just make sure that, you know, if the relationships you are having in your life aren't serving you to the highest level, then you need to get out and you need to change them. However, if there's something you can do simply to make that relationship exactly as it should be and as you want it to be, then again, take action and just do it. Just, just do it because life is just too short not to, seriously. Absolutely. And um, I think it would have been Jim Rohn or anybody else who's smarter these days. They attribute, you know, you know, the level of your life to the five people that you spend the most time with. So, you know, you want to really choose those people, um, you know, carefully. And um, sorry, once again, to hear about the loss of your um, father. I mean, it, it is, it is life as, as it comes. Now, you also mentioned that one of your biggest goals was to meet the men, Tony Robbins, and touch the hem and um, just, you know, feel the power within or master, um, you know, his energy. I can actually start feeling goosebumps just by talking about <laughs> the intense energy that men can bring within a room. Um, yeah. And um, you were very particularly clear on that goal right there and um in life we all know money that you know the sky's the limit but to get it there you know your goals really need to be crystal clear by oh, yeah. you actually believing in them with your heart and your soul because you can't yeah. reach a target that you cannot see you know what i mean and you never get to where you want to go if you don't know what it is that you um want to do and you you don't think you have what it takes to get there now could you just let me uh, or the audience know how important is it to actually have really clear um, you know and crystal goals in order for you to be doing have or to achieve especially maybe the lifestyle and the energy that you now have how much clarity does one person really really need okay it's really good that you've actually asked me because I've had experience in this just in the past weekend okay obviously I've done my master practitioner with a lot of people and there are a lot, there are a few people that are, are absolutely smashing it there was one guy on the weekend who um, signed on to a national sporting brand and he's going to go worldwide with that another lady um, managed to get a contract with the education department of New South Wales and she's going to be traveling around Australia like doing courses for them and so these were huge and you know, I couldn't help to sit there and think, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm doing really, really well. I'm smashing it out, but I don't have a major sporting brand on board and I don't have this happening yet. And you know what? The message came from both of them is that you've got to be specific. You've got to be absolutely 100% certain of exactly what it is you want to go for and exactly how to get there. And the only way to do that is to actually like either write it down or know in your mind with absolute 100% certainty that this is where you want to go and this is what you want to attract and this is what you want to do. So it is vitally, vitally important because if you are a believer in the universe, for example, that what you put out, you get back, then if you're sending out different signals, the universe is just going to get confused, eh? Absolutely. <laughs> like, to be clear, really clear. So, yeah. Oh, I love that. That just reminds me, obviously, because... 
when people are driving money, you know, you get the whole uh, windshield that is bigger than the rearview mirror. So you need to have clarity and vision of where it is that you're actually going. And I really like how, you know, you, you elaborated at the end that the universe really hates confusion. So <laughs> if you're manifesting this and you're asking for that and, you know, it, it doesn't really work out. So in all your life, a lot of things have happened and half of them have just been like a spontaneous type thing. Um, you had your friend coming through and you took them up on the offer and you jumped on and you really wanted to see Tony Robbins and you really wanted to have that you know, sort of um, photo with them. And um, a lot of people are not that confident in life to take on uh, whatever opportunity that knocks at their door at an unexpected time. And the fact that you just jumped on and also accepted to be on our show today, it also really does show that you are confident in the work that you produce and the value that you can offer um, out there. So how important really is uh, to have confidence in, in in yourself and in oneself oh it's absolutely again just the most important thing out there i mean you've got to believe in yourself that is number one okay you need to believe in yourself and you need to have a hundred percent certainty on what it is you want and how you're going to get it okay and having that self-belief behind you especially in your relationships especially in business especially in business because you know i mean let's face it business is cutthroat these days okay there's always somebody there waiting to take you out <laughs> and unless you are a hundred percent certain and you know what your competition is doing and you know that you're better than your competition you know what you're doing then you're going to find like wake up one day and you're going to find that your throat's probably being cut and you're out so you know i cannot stress enough confidence is the key okay and if you don't have confidence confidence then just go get it because you just can that's the thing you just can great stuff so a lot of people I mean this is probably gonna be the last question there money a lot of sure. people <clears throat> really play the blame game because they think where they are is a result of somebody's actions or somebody didn't do something before um, mm -hmm. and they don't really own up to their own actions I mean a lot of people I know in life you've got to judge yourself based on how you act and your life is your responsibility, your own promises to people. So either you really own up to your actions or your actions will ultimately sort of own you. And um, how important is it to really um, be certain and, you know, own up to your own actions and not blame other people for, you know, not getting the results that you want in life? Okay, well, I mean, you know, my classic example is what happened to me when I was in my 20s, you know, when my entire life fell apart around me. And I mean, like, if, if I had a sat there and gone, oh, woe is me, they did this and they did that, and oh, you know, I'm like this because that happened to me, then I would never have got, gotten ahead. I would never have grown, and I would never have gotten to where I am today, okay? So we are 100% responsible for every choice, every decision, every action we take and you can't say oh well you know i'm like this because my father was an alcoholic okay or uh, i did this because you know jim bob was picking on me when i was at school or whatever do you know what i mean it's like you just take responsibility eh? because you are where you are in your life because you chose to be here okay Absolutely. it's 100 percent your responsibility as to who you are where you are how you show up in this world and what you choose to do, okay? So, I mean, and that's it. So, you know, take responsibility, stand tall, take it on board that you have caused everything that has happened in your life. And if you don't like it, then just freaking change it because you can. So. Oh, I love that. I love that. Because, um, you know, it just brings me back to, 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 to something I heard earlier, that excuses sound best to the person that's telling them. It's like when yeah. we were kids, you would think you're tricking the teacher by telling the teacher, hey, sorry, a dog ate my homework. And the teacher, you would think, yeah, you're smart enough. And the teacher would, you know, fall for that. But, you know, it's just like that in life. If somebody comes through and they're like, oh, I can't do this because Sally down the road was pregnant by the time I wanted to be pregnant. So I couldn't fall pregnant. And I'm like, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Absol- absolutely. One other thing that really stops people dead in their tracks, which I think NLP is really good at solving, is um, fighting uh, perfectionism and um, really not being satisfied with either the person they're becoming, the work they're putting out there, um, et cetera, et cetera. I would know one thing for sure. There's no such thing as being perfect. And, um, you know, there's, that's only one person's perception. And the idea of it, you know, based on well, whatever you see as, as a shortcoming or you might think that if I put out stuff you become a failure and it leads to procrastination um how would you sort of relate or not or or maybe warn people against you know seeking perfection instead of just seeking satisfaction and getting a good job done out there well you certainly know the questions to ask me don't you do you know how many projects i've had on the back burner for that exact reason because i thought to myself oh you know it won't be good enough or people won't want to see that or it's not good enough and do you know what since doing my nlp i mean all of that's gone do you know what i mean it's like you know i mean i'm a freaking rock star i am a freaking rock star and the stuff that i produce is freaking amazing and so it's interesting you say that because when i got home from my prep course i actually finished and launched my book I actually wrote a book. It's actually the third book I've written, okay? Two of them never made it out because I was too afraid of exactly what you're talking about, but this one made it out. And so, you know, I mean, it's exactly that. I mean, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to take action and you just have to put it out there. Things can be changed if it's not right and you get feedback. And I say feedback because there is no failure. There's only feedback. If you get feedback, Take it on board and make the changes and it's going to make it better, isn't it? So, you know, don't go for perfection. Just get it out there and just show the world what you're made of and what you've got. Absolutely. I really can see the enthusiasm, um, you know, in your eyes. And uh, obviously all of this that we're just talking about really leads people to be, do and have a very good existence of which a lot of people would never even taste um, you know, in their lives just because maybe societal expectations and um, the way they were brought up and, um, you know, keep playing the blame game. Now, yeah. money, I mean, we could go on and on. I can see you still got all of that energy. But <laughs> maybe our audience really is dying to know how else they can, you know, you know, either touch the hem like you did with Tony Robbins and get to know a little bit about yourself and learn from your expertise, your knowledge, and yeah. have a bit of the charisma that you actually do have. Um, how can people get um, a hold of you there, Mani? Okay, well, um, we currently have a couple of Facebook pages on the go. We have our company, Infinity NLP. So if NLP is what interests you, then jump on and um, send me a message. I've also started a group um, called Tall Poppies Rising on Facebook. Okay, now that is for uh, young ladies, just like a couple of my clients who, these, these are the girls who, these are the girls that were me 20 years ago. Do you know, and these are the girls that, you know, that know full well that they have what it takes to go to the top. They absolutely do. And there's been things that have just been stopping them, like, you know, their, their beliefs, like I'm too young or it's not good enough or I'm not good enough. And so I've created this group to give them encouragement and support. It's called Tall Poppies Rising, okay? And so I'm wanting them to come along, join in. I'll be doing business videos every night. I'll be doing question and answers. I'll be doing everything I can to support them and help them to grow and to grow into the women that I know that they will become. Um, and so that's probably the best two ways to get hold of me is it NLP is the infinity NLP and through the tall poppies rising. I'm also happy to take some friends on Facebook too. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I can't thank you enough for all this untapped potential that you've just dropped on this, um, you know, episode on here. And I hope this is going to treat individual problems that may have been arising, uh, within people, because as we have figured out with um, this episode, neuro-linguistic programming has really helped millions of people to overcome fear, to increase their confidence, and to actually achieve greater success, um, you know, either in their relationships or in their business. So, I mean, it's time to really take stock of who you are right now. 2017 has just gone by. We're almost in 2018. If you haven't morphed yourself into a better person, a better person for yourself, for your clients, for your kids, and for everybody else that's around you, then you're doing everybody else a disservice. So I would encourage that you join up 
uh, find out who Mani is and um, learn from her. And yeah, if nothing, just go in and touch the hem and learn a thing or two um, that would help you be, do and have a life that is worthy of talking about in the future. Now, Mani, I don't know how I can possibly thank you for your value, your expertise and your time on this show today. Um, thank you so very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Great.